Today we're out here at Jack's Point Golf Course and we're going to be playing a straight up head to head stroke play match against my boy Ty and honestly this course has without a question snuck into my top five favorite courses in the world so I cannot wait to show you guys the insane views out here on this course and let me just tell you right now Jack's Point may look pretty but you definitely have to pay attention out here because this is not an easy course. Oh my dang it! Gotta get a pick of that. I think we've come to the most picturesque hole out here. It's so Look at sick. That. I don't know if you guys can see how cool this is on camera. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I know, I know, different, got glasses on. I've had this before, it's an ulcer in my eye. Uh, must have happened like when I was traveling over to New Zealand. Out here with my boy, Ty again. What's up people? <laughs> it's your boy Taka Golf. But yeah, we're out here at Jack's Point. Honestly, I've this is one of the courses I've been like the most excited about because I have not seen this course and it just doesn't even seem real. But let's get ready to play out here. I think me and Ty are gonna have a little match. So let's get to it. All right guys, first hole, 382 meters. It's very cold as you can see. Uh, pretty straightforward par four to start off with. A little bit into the wind, but uh, let's just see if I can hit one fairway. First hole. Oh my stripes, man. Uh, don't get in that bunker. Oh. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, I will say playing with glasses is definitely not something I've almost never done. So a little weird, but it's all we got right now. We're gonna try to just hit it pretty much at that bunker. I don't think that bunker is reachable today, hopefully. Oh boy, a little high in the face. Fine. Yeah, I think that's still fairway. Gotta get a pick of that. Dude, this is so Look at that, sick. look at these, look at those guys. Yeah. Alright, hit. <laughs> Alright, we got 130, into the wind, pretty cold. I got two jackets on right now. I don't know, I think I can still get like a pretty full pitch wedge, not all the way full, but... I also see the backstop there behind the flag, so if, it, if we happen to use it, we use it. Not trying to, though. Let's go, is it? Go. Roll. 30 feet. Caught that kind of weird, like kind of toe ish. Let's see how far it is. Can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. 89. 89 meters into the wind, cold. We've got 52 <laughs> degrees. Choked down a touch. Had a little three quarter draw in there. Uh, get a nice birdie chance. Talk to me. Oh, that looks pretty tasty. Rolling back. Oh my goodness, Ben. Oh my goodness, Ben. Jesus. All right. Wish my shot was a little closer. That was not very good. But hey, it's the first hole. Greens are fast out here, though. I don't know exactly what they are, but it's like a. I'm gonna say at least 11 on the stem. They're, the last few feet are definitely trickling out. So let's try to get the speed right here. Well, that fast. <laughs> a little too much respect on that one. Guys, I had, I had a great shot, but it's kind of slanted on an upslope, and I spun the ball back about 30 feet away. It was about six feet, but now I've got an uphill putt, pretty straight. It is quick, but Quan's came up short, so I'm gonna give it a little extra. And he almost did it. Oh my lord. I wanna see that, I wanna see that. All right, well. If you guys saw the first video, this is uh, reminiscent of the first video. Let's see if I can replicate the second putt on that one too. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. Go watch that first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two videos in a row. <laughs> Easy two putts. Starting off the round. Oh, why am I cheering you on? We're playing against yeah, you. Yeah, we're, we're playing a match. Yeah. Yesterday we were friends, but today we're enemies. Uh, yeah. Loser has to bungee jump. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we got hole two. Uh, looks like the fairway just kind of pinches in here. I also see a little tiny butthole bunker in the middle of the fairway, but uh, probably gonna go with a three iron. All right, let's, let's find where the golf ball is now. Yeah, it works out. Rolled up there, about where I was wanting. This is not an excuse, but I'm, I'm being dead serious. Like, 
His glasses are like some weird like distance perception when I'm looking down at the ball, but we'll get it sorted out here. <laughs> okay, like Quan said, I'm going with an iron too. Two iron. Uh, I'm gonna sting one up the left here, a little Stinger. fade. Sting a fade. Oh, chunky. Hey, that'll do. It rolled out a lot. Huh? It rolled out a lot. 160, going quite a bit uphill. I uh, can't see the green, I can't see if the flag's in the front or the back. So, 160, I'm gonna go with 170 uphill, slightly downwind off the left. I might just roast, uh, roast an 8 iron here. Catch piece. Go, 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 go. Catch piece. All right. We'll figure it out from there. That was not a good shot again. 135 meters up the hill, so about 150, 148 yards ish, 150 yards. Um, I've got nine iron, a little bit downwind. Pretty full one, I think. Oh, sounding crispy. Stay right there. Right there. Okay, a little left, but I think pretty thin high-ish. That shot, going into the green, looking down at the ball. Okay, so I was hitting balls in the dri driving range with just my right contact in. It's, it's my left eye that's bothering me. And I was seeing two golf balls. So, I don't think, I don't it's think- a good excuse. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. <laughs> I was seeing two golf balls. So I was like, I don't think one contact's the move. I think glasses is the move. I don't know, we should be getting used to it. I really don't like making ex excuses like this. So, just a little variable this time. Nothing we can't handle. All right, found the bunker, obviously. Uh, pretty big lip, not really not really a factor in this shot, but basically trying to plop it out on the green, let it roll out, see what happens. Come back down, come back down. Just trying to come back? Oh, how is that staying there? Okay, good shot. Nine iron was good, pin high, about 13 feet, very slidey. Left to right. Um, I'm gonna have to aim this like two feet left. Okay, maybe not that quick. I got scared. Oh, I get scared, it's only golf. This this putt is actually scary. I mean, I'm gonna have to barely hit this thing. It should be moving a little right. Hit the hole. Oh! Jesus! <laughs> Goodness. Oh man, I knew right off the face. I was like, dude, that's, I hope that goes in because that's gonna be a long putt back. Oh, it's all good. Not the spot you want to be. Let's try to make this thing now. Okay, here she is. Hey, I've had two very easy two putts so far. Let me just damage. Tap it. With. Oh, okay. Par three, third hole. A couple of solid pars to start. Downwind up the hill about 10 meters. Okay. Meters. So I've got seven iron. Uh, 167 meters. I'm just going to hit this one full. Hold on one. Did you like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. A little short, maybe. A little short. All right. I've also got a seven iron here. It looks like the flag's on the left side, so I might try to maybe draw this one just a slight, just a smidge. Okay, Get a little left. Yeah, looks good. Looks pretty solid. Yeah, pretty high. Pin high. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully pin high, just like Ty said. Surely that's good. Three feet, not good? Oh, I thought we we're friends. No, no, no. Not yesterday. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right, hit my shot to about, I don't know, 20 feet. Ty's hit one tight. He's like maybe four feet right there. I gotta imagine he's gonna make that, so let's try to make this thing. It's gonna be curling quite a bit, right to left. Curl in there. Oh! Oh, settle. Settle. See what I mean? Like, throw it back there. Okay, real good seven iron. I thought it was gonna be close. It is close, four feet. But I've gotta be respectable. Respectable? Respective, is that a word? Respectful. Respectful. <laughs> Sorry. Left to right slider. That's gotta be about like a cup left. Oh, crept over the edge. Is that all? All right, that, that one's good. That one's good. <laughs> Bro, look, look at this, look at this right here. 
I mean, I know I'm on like kind of a slope, mm. but I just made the putt. I just made it. <laughs> Dude, I will say though, just how fast these greens are and there's a little bit of undulation out here. It makes golf so much fun out here doing that. Like the ball's just kind of rolling around. You can use your creativity around here. Dude, I love this stuff. Fourth hole, up the hill again. Pretty straight par four. I've got three wood. I think I might be able to get to that bunker in the middle of the way, so uh, let's lay up short. I mean, it looks pretty solid. Didn't see it down. Yeah, I think just short of the bunker. I only brought a driver up here, so based off the tie shot, I think it's gonna be a little bit too much. So we're gonna go uh, stinger driver. Doesn't go as far. Oh Not my stinger! Way. Holy! Dude, that thing landed like a plane, Bro. just like perfectly like entering the landing zone. That <laughs> rolled more than it flew. For the record, I wasn't trying to hit it that low. <laughs> <laughs> Shayla, have fun with that tracer. Uh, I've got 93 meters up the hill again. The pin's quite tucked. I'm gonna go with a 52 three quarter. Let's like travel. Ho ho ho! Don't spin. Oh, sick. <laughs> it's fun. Wow. We got 84 yards to the flag, 79 cover the bunker. This is one of the rare times I'm gonna hit like a pretty full lob wedge. Hit like a 60 degree, hopefully land past the flag. I'm trying to hit this thing like 90 yards. Now we wait. Oh, oh no! Oh my. <laughs> Dang it, I knew it was gonna spin a lot, but. Yeah, I, I mean, I rolled the dice with, with that shot up there. It's all right. All right, well, unfortunately, I'm not on the green right now. Gotta pop this up, get up in the air, get it past this little ridge right here, and hopefully not trickle out too much. These are kind of weird chip shots to me. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, that way soft, soft enough. <laughs> Sticking. Hey, that works though. That works. Okay, mine spun off the green as well, but um, literally like a five yard chip. Um, let's try and make this thing, it's sitting up quite nice. Try and make it. Go! Oh! A little bit of meat. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, a little clean up work here. Three and a half feet. Is this really breaking right? There's no way. Okay, there we go. Solid. Clean it up, clean it up. Down the hill, gotta be respectful again. Respective. Respective. Yes, sir. Nice. That's how you do it. Yeah, looking back, I mean, obviously now that I've seen the green, I feel like maybe going past the flag with some spin was probably not the right move. It was always gonna <laughs> spin back off the green, but the alternative was to try to club down and take some spin off. But then you're just like getting real close to that front edge. You gotta get real cute, cute with it. Either way, it's a tough shot. That's a, that's, a, that's a hard pin to get to right there. I love this stuff. All right, Dan, we got a, is it par five? Mm -hmm. All right, we got a par five going to the right, like snapping way to the right. Kind of weird though, it's like 300 to the bunkers on the left, and it's also a 300 carry over this bushy stuff. I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to hit a driver and just carry all this bushy stuff on the right, but I have no idea on this hole. So I'm just gonna go hybrid, go with those bunkers, should stay short. Stay, stay. Don't make this hole oh, any longer. That's a sick backdrop. Okay. It might have crept in the rough. Might have. All right, I only bought driver, so I'm gonna hit a little sick, little stinger driver cut. Stinger slinger? That did not sling. <laughs> it did sting. Stop, stop, stop. Somehow stop. Hit a roll. Uh, oh, it's that thing out of the bunker? Just. Only just. Wow. It's supposed to sling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, we got 201. I'm gonna say it's like maybe 15 up, so 215 flag. No, 215 cover the bunker. 
I'm thinking of kind of opening up a three iron. If it ends up short, it ends up short, it's fine. But I feel like I gotta kind of get this ball up in the air to get all the carry I can get out of it. I'll send it. Right. Where did that land? Oh. I see it rolling. I know I at least have a pitch shot from the fairway, so can't be all too bad. My driver didn't sling, but it stung, but got lucky, got him between two bunkers here. It's about 230 meters to the pin. I've got this bunker to carry about 190. I'm just gonna hit three iron straight at the green and just kind of pray. It's straight in the bunker. Oh no. Oh. Maybe long, that I don't know. Might be on the green. Yeah. What do you reckon? Holy cow, dude. I don't know if you guys can see how cool this is on camera. It looks like it's like CGI, mate. <laughs> right? Mate. All right, after gazing out there for too long, we got a, forgot we have a putt here. Sling it over to the right. It's like 40 feet, maybe 50 feet. Again, moving quite a bit. So, gotta get the line right, gotta get the speed right. Hopefully a little tap in bird. Looking good. Go a little, go a little. Settle. Settle. Oh, that's just outside the gimme. It's a little bit of meat left on that one. Okay, so my three iron managed to scoot around and run up onto the green to about 20 feet. All right, got a little quick cleanup work for my birdie here. A little like three footer. Slightly right to the left. Okay. Um, bird. Hey, bird. I see what Jack's point is trying to do. You get a nice cool view, and you get a birdie on a par five. Birdie on par You just feel good on this hole. Yeah. It looks like this is a drivable par four. 336 to the front left bunkers on the green and it's downhill, so it's probably I mean, around 300. I like a good drivable par four where like, it's not just a blatant obvious decision like lay up every single time or go for it every time. I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, you gotta hit a good shot to, to get this ball on the green here. Little bounce left, please. Couldn't see it down, but pretty solid line, I feel like. You didn't see it down? I didn't see it. Yeah. Drop. Tough to see. Should be pretty solid. Sun's yeah. out, so I've taken my jumper off. Jumper. Drivable, like Quan said, 336 yards, so give this one a rip, kind of about the right side. Hopefully hit it on the green. Oh, too right. Is that OB there? Can see oh, it, the swing looks good. What are you thinking? Okay, push my driver a little bit, but just managed to stay in inside the white markers there. About a foot actually. But that's fine. Um, I've got a little bit of a flop action going over this bunker, downhill to the green, uh, and then give myself a birdie chance. Soft. Soft. Don't roll off, don't roll off, don't roll off. Oh. All right, got a bunker shot. Almost pin high. Pretty standard shot though here. Got a ton of green to work with. Just trying to plop it out, let it roll out. Go a little bit, go a little bit. All right, slightly short, but I think we should be able to manage that. Didn't hit the best uh, flopper. And now I've got a bit of a thick lie here. Pretty good. All right. All right. Got ourselves a 10 footer. Looks like we're a little closer than that from the bunker, but we got a 10 footer, a little, little left to right. Let's try this thing. Didn't move 
at all. Uh, yeah. It's all good. It's a par. Still, still trying to get to the red numbers. We'll get there. Four footer up the hill, left to right. Just give it a good stroke. Don't want to lose a stroke on a short path wall like this. Cool. <laughs> oh, you're too good at that. <laughs> I think we've come to the most picturesque hole out here. Maybe like the signature hole out here at Jack's Point. I mean, this is unreal. Just wait for Dan to pan around and see this, but it's a one, 148 par three downhill like 15 yards maybe I'm gonna play it like a 128 shot maybe even shorter honestly sit a little looks pretty good I think if it just stuck right there pretty buddy good we'll see we got a green side view there you guys have already seen it okay I've got a 46 degree uh, I'm gonna play it 15 meters down, so I don't even know actually exactly how far it is, but about 115 meters. Uh, come around. Maybe a little short. 22 feet. A little slider then, then comes back to the left here, so I've got a bit of a snaky putt. Let's see if I can roll in a mid-length putt. If I can roll it in. Oh. Ah, that was a good line. Ooh. Dude, that was actually a really hard part. I was just gonna go straight left there up that up that knob. Got up here to the green. My, my shot actually turned out to be really good. Kind of an odd putt though. I think it goes left off my feet just like barely and then should go back right where the hole is. Try to try to box this thing. Yes yeah. sir. Two. Solid two. A little up and down's been off the nice. T bus. Let's go. <laughs> Made it here to hole eight. Uh, looks like it's par five. Kind of like, like cuts in. So there's a bunch of like water that kind of cuts in there. It's not really water, it's like a jungle or whatever. Definitely don't want to go past 300 yards. So I think I'm going to go with three wood. A little bit sussed out. If this three wood rolls, it could go 300. So I think this is the right club though. I did kind of poke it, huh? Somewhat guidey, but hey, <laughs> I was trying to take a little bit off that thing. Should be good there. All right, I got three wood as well. I'm gonna hit a little three wood cut. Uh, I mean, I gotta imagine that's short of it. Softly, softly. Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think so too. Nice. Nice. Dude. I know I've been talking about the views out here a lot, but like, I've noticed New Zealand skies are like distinctively more blue. And I feel like because of that, the water out here just looks more blue too. Show, show them this water right here. I, I know you guys have seen it on the previous holes, but. Okay, good three wood on the fairway, but it's a blind second shot, so I have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna trust that there is a post there, uh, just kind of giving us indications of where the green is. I've got three iron, 240 yards to the middle of the green. So high cut is what I'm trying to do. A little downwind. I've roasted it. So it's solid. It, it might even go long, I don't know. Just so long. What club you hit? Three iron. All right. I kind of cheated. I ran up there and kind of, <laughs> I saw the tip of the flag. That's how much I cheated, but don't really know the direction all that much. I know it's 222 raw number. Probably gonna go up a little bit, so 230. So let's go 232. A little bit downwind, so I'm gonna go with the four iron. Should land a little soft, or sorry, should land a little bit short of the green. If the flag happens to be in the front, oh well. I have no idea for line. That, I feel like it seems left. I, I feel like that too, but I don't know, I hit that pretty good. All right, hit my three iron good. Um, pin high, but I think it just kind of ran to the right a little bit. There's a lot of undulation on these uh, on these greens. Gonna kind of pop it up a little bit. Put some pressure on Quan and make a birdie here. Oh, 
Oh dear. Get a little bit. Oh, I thinned it. Thinned it. <sighs> not the greatest spots, but also not terrible. I mean, at least I'm working up up into the slope, like on the green. But also there's a slope like short of the green. Uh, Got to get this ball up high. Hopefully stop pretty quick. I am actually not sure if these greens nip all that well. So, I don't know. I'm not going to take the gamble on it. Tried to nip, it just came out way too low. I was trying to get it up higher than that, but it's all good. Try to go make the putt. Now I'm just trying to kind of make par here. So I've got 32 feet uphill right to the left. And slam it. Settle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Dude, I thought for a second it would roll off. Holy cow. That's brutal. That's what I was worried about the chip shot. Yeah, yeah. Got like a 15 footer here. Obviously very quick based off Ty's putt there. So definitely got to show some respect on this putt. Still thinking about my overall trip goal of trying to keep all my rounds total under par. So got to make this thing. Yes. Ooh. That thing had a little bit of speed on it, dude. I think if I didn't hit the hole, it might've been at least five feet by. I thought my first putt was up the hill, it was actually down the hill. Now I've got uphill. Let's try and make it really. Mm. Hey! Thought you did it. Damn. Hole nine here. It's a shorter hole, but it like really pinches in there where driver is. I mean, I want to hit driver, but. Just seems pretty stupid. I'm gonna go with the hybrid. Keep it in the fat part. Should be fine. Maybe not in the fairway, but we can figure it out from there. All right, I've got my deuce. Gonna hit a little stinger draw down there. I think this overtakes my favorite course in the world. I mean, the hills was pretty up there. I don't, I don't really know how to, I'm not very good at ranking courses, but mm -hmm. the hills was pretty far up there, like top three for sure. And I think this course is overtaken. It just <laughs> already on the front nine. Special. I mean, this is, this is so much fun playing this course. If you guys are gonna see the hills here in a couple, couple days, few days, I'm not sure which, which day it's gonna come out, but the hills is up in the itinerary for this trip. So you guys are gonna be able to see that course, but I will say this course is pretty special here. Kind of rolled right into the uh, first cut. Got 110 meters, Might have. and it's a little bit up, a little bit up. I've got uh, 46 degrees again. Gonna have a little three-quarter one. Oh, go right. Looks like it's about the right number. And highish. Hopefully, it didn't spin. All right, we got 140 to the flag. It's like 130-ish, the front edge from this line. Slightly into the wind. I'm kind of tempted to just hit a pretty full pitching wedge. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Good left. Looks pretty good. Oh, settle. All right, I think we're still putting. Just barely stayed on the green. I mean, I'm kind of on the fringe right here, but it should be just straight uphill. A little bit right to left. See if we can finish out this nine with a bird. Yeah. Wow, I thought I smacked that thing. Pretty steep. Pretty actually. steep slope over here. Up the hill, my pitching wedge came up a little bit short. Got about 20 feet. Let's hold it, get one, claw one back. Oh, Whoa. Meat on the bone. Lots of meat on that thing. Old stroke. Walk it in. Oh, walk it in, he says. It Easy in. game for him. From six feet and in, his, his make percentage is basically 100%. <laughs> That's why he walks it in. 
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this first half of Jack's Point. If you guys wanna see the rest of this match here, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, as always, if you guys have made it to the end of the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, and I'll see all y'all in the next one. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.